Although it looks like a flower, this geometric pattern is made up of tessellated creatures and shapes. Here's another made of bats, pumpkins and a spider web. Begin by making this six petal geometric shape. Then draw a line across the petals only over the two outer circles. Here and here. And again on the other outer circles. Finally on the last two outer circles. Now for the owl. First the curved line of the top of his head, round either side of his head. Large round eyes and the hooked beak. Now the body, curved and slightly heart shaped, one side of that center line and the other. Use the center line to help make it symmetrical. Now I'm going to mark the wings. This is where the wings lift up and I want to get it the same on either side so I use the compass to measure as one side of the wing. I've got that measurement now with the compass and I can now measure the other side of the wing to make sure it's the same on both sides. Now curve up and curve up again for the other side of the wing. Now we can complete the feathers. and the pointy arrow-like tail. The feathers on the other side. Use the compass to get the width of the owl's wings again because you're now going to mark this on all the other circles around. Here's the first one. One owl's wing and then the other side of the wing. I'm going to continue marking on each circle the wings of the owls. Now the head. I'm measuring where the owl's head must come on each of the other circles using the compass. After the owls is this fish. It's an angel fish. I start with the tail fin and the top fin. Back of the tail fin and the bottom fin. Now the eyes, mouth and side fin. Now the fish pointing inwards. Carefully do the tail, the eye, the fish's gills, the dorsal fin, the pectoral fin and the side fin. Here's the fish facing in again. The eyes, gills, side fin, pectoral fin and dorsal fin. And then curving in the tail and the pattern, curved lines to show the fishy scales. Rub off any of the circles that go over the fish. And now the details on the angel fish's back fin or tail fin. Just simple lines to show the folds in the tail. Now the flat fish or the skates, sort of hiding underneath the other fish. It's a simple curved line down the middle and eyes either side. Once you've experimented with your tessellated pattern, you can use hot and cold colours in different parts to make different areas pop out.